for the best sports in Lorraine. That's TV 20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Good afternoon, and ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lorraine City Schools Television and JV Girls Basketball here at Lorraine High. It's the Lorraine High Titans taking on the Bedford Bearcats coming in at two and eight. The Titans are nine and three as we get the ball game underway. Yeah, nice campaign so far for the uh, junior Lady Titans. Yeah, they're had a good start here at nine and three. The Bedford Bearcats are having a little rough go of it starting out at two and eight. Three pointer back in the corner from Faria. Unsuccessful. Still no score in the ball game. As we're just getting underway. Bedford works the ball down in the paint, but uh, shot goes up and rebounded by the Titans. I'm Joe Bach, and um, we're, we have Gary Pelter with us today. Thank you for coming out today. It's a pleasure to be here, Joe. Turnover going the other way. Bearcats trying to put the first points on the ball game, and the ball is tipped and knocked out of bounds and going to the Titans. Nice defensive effort there by the Titans. Santos inbounds the ball to Faria. Lorraine exhibiting a lot of patience here, going against the Bedford defense. Moving the ball around and tipped around, but the Titans remain in control. Down low to Santos. Santos kicked it back out. And once again, back out top to Faria as she resets the offense. Rotating it around, Williams on the top of the circle over Fari on the right baseline. Down low in the paint, Barrick low. God, did everything right there, but get the bucket. Yeah, very, very patient on offense, and they got a good shot. Bearcats coming back the other way, trying to get their first basket of the ball game as we are still scoreless. And a steal by the Titans, but <laughs> turned it back over when uh, unable to maintain control of it there. Uh, an inadvertent trip, no foul on the call. Yeah, five minutes left here there in the first go. quarter. Still no score in, in JV action. It's seven minute quarters. There we go. And there we go, the first score of the ball game. Uh, Williams for the Titans puts up two. Once again, as Joe said, 4.40 to go in the first quarter of play. Williams bringing the ball up between the circles. Once again, the Titans setting up their offense. A little 2-3 zone action there by the Bearcats. You get the ball down low to Barrico and she Very puts it nice. up and puts up two. Nice ball movement. And the Titans go up four to nothing. And the Bearcats inbound the basketball on the sideline right in front of the Titans bench. Bearcats still looking for their first points of the afternoon. Shayla Jackson gets the ball down low and the ball gets into the hands of Smith who puts it up for the first two points of the ball game for Bedford. Four to two, Titans. Sorry, and Barraclo. Moving the ball back and forth. Now it's down to Feria. The Johnsons. 
Ball stripped away by the Bearcats. Titans back on defense. Up front, Micaiah Jackson. Down the right baseline, down low. And it's Smith up with the shot, but no go and Titans go back the other way. Shot is up and we'll see which way this, this one's going. As we've got substitutions coming in for the Titans. I think the ball's gonna stay with Lorraine. And it was off of Bedford, I believe. So Lorraine's gonna maintain the basketball. Shots up by Harrison. Coming back the other way in the Bedford. Bearcats put up a shot and it's doesn't go, but uh, we're going to get some free throws out of this one. I believe that was the first we've heard of Jim Popiel this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. He's the PA announcer for all the girls' games. Well, Nikita Jackson got the second free throw to go down. Cuts the lead to one for Lorraine. Shot up, tipped around, a defensive rebound by the Bearcats. The Bearcats coming back down the other way. Jackson, Nikita Jackson cut off. Kicks it back out to restart the offense. And Holly puts the shot up. She's going to go to the free throw line for some free throws. Once three, again, three fouls already for Lorraine. 226 remaining in the first quarter of play. Lorraine up 4 2. Well, Just now tied it's tied. It. <laughs> tied at 4. And the first lead of the afternoon for Bedford. His, uh, the second free throw is successful by Holly. Five to four, Bedford. Trying to get that pass down into the paint and it's uh, intercepted by the Bearcats defense. Not a lot of field goals so far uh, in the ball game. And definitely nothing from long range. The two, free, the two field goals that Lorraine has have both been from uh, right inside the paint, right underneath the basket. They've been very patient offensively. Yeah, Lid's been on the basket except for a couple chippies. And Lorraine turns the basketball over. Full core pressure by the Titans. Bedford breaks it, gets it up the court, and promptly turns the ball over. Aria bringing the ball up between the circles over on the right side to Washington. Look out to Rivera. Aria has got it back again between the circles. And the ball off the hands of Washington and out of bounds. I think she was uh, looking to make that next pass and took her eye off the ball for a second. Bedford moves the ball around. They're trying to get that easy shot down in the paint. But no shots have been easy so far in the ball game for either team. Both teams have been uh, very patient. 
I would agree with that, Joe. They've, they've been looking for good shots. They just, there just haven't been a lot of them. There's a long ranger. Goes off the backboard, offensive rebound, and it goes up and in by DeShayla Jackson, her first basket of the ball game. Yeah, don't look, look now, the Lady Bearcats have a three-point lead. Waning moments of the first quarter. Lady Bearcats having a little bit of trouble out near that timeline. Very active defense for the Titans. Titans end up with the basketball. They're going to inbound right under their own bench. 26 seconds, 26.7 to be more accurate. Left in the first quarter of play. Bedford up seven to four. Titans with the basketball. See if the ladies will play for the last shot. Nope. <laughs> and the Bearcats get that defensive rebound and they're gonna bring it down the floor. Up and around the basket, and Fari has got one second to put it up. Oh. And they fouled her. Three, that, and that's three shots. She's, yeah, she's going to get three free throws, an opportunity to tie this ball game up going into the second quarter of play. The clock has expired. Right, the shot was up before time expired. Uh, and so no time left on the clock, so she'll be shooting uh, uh, three shots here to end the quarter. Yeah, the clock, the <laughs> clock expired while the ball was in the air. Right. And now there's one. She got the first. All right. There's a lot of pressure there with nobody there. You're just standing there all by yourself. Man, there's two. She got the second one as well. Impressive. One more, and she gets to pick one off the top rack. It's <laughs> there you there go. There we go. Look great. Wow. We got a long way to go, but if, if Bedford ends up losing by less than three, they're going to look back on that one. Yeah. All right. At the end of one. It's seven to seven. All tied up here, ladies JV basketball. We're going to be back after this quick break. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives, building futures. All right, to get this second quarter underway, Bedford inbounds the basketball. You're watching JV basketball, girls basketball, here on Lorraine City Schools TV 20. Bedford puts up the first shot, gets the offensive rebound after a little bit of a scramble. And DeShayla Jackson had her shot blocked. And now the Lady Titans bringing it back, coming the other way. Three-point shot attempt by Bolin. Bolin put it up. It was off the iron, but an offensive rebound by the Titans keeps it in their possession. Another long-range shot, that time by Robinson. Defensive rebound by the Bearcats. They're having a little bit of trouble controlling it, and now they finally get things under control and get it across the timeline. And 
And we're going to have a kick on the Titans. As it was Holly over there dribbling the basketball. Oh, I guess he said it went off. I, I thought it was a kick on the Titans, but it must have went off Holly as it rolled out of bounds. Oh. Hey, good news. <laughs> And another long-range three by the Titans. They've been not shy about firing it up here in the second quarter of play. He turned the ball over. Still all tied up here. It's 7-7, seven to seven, 523 remaining in the second quarter of play. Bowling back with the basketball to set up the offense. Smith puts up the shot and tried to save the basketball inbounds, but it ends up in the hands of what we'll find out here in a second. It's going to go to Bearcats basketball. Foul on 23. I think I caught. Yeah, we don't have the luxury of having all the numbers on the scoreboard right now with the fouls next to them in the JV game here. Right. They're saving that for later. <laughs> Turnover by the Bearcats. They didn't even get a shot off that time. Turn the ball over. Titans coming back the other way. Aria bringing the ball up. It's at the Bolin. Bolin on the left wing. Back over to Robinson. Robinson between the circles. Faria. Faria brings it back. Looks over that Bedford defense. They get it down low. Down low to Johnson. Or Santos, excuse me. Santos is going to go to the free throw line after being fouled. Yasmin Santos. That's right. And a little to the right. And a little closer, but not close enough. Ball kicked out, going down the floor the other way. And it's Micaiah Jackson for Bedford. First points there in the second quarter. There we go, tied now. <laughs> and, and now we're on fire. It's Santos with her first basket here in the second quarter. And once again, it's all tied up at nine. over in the corner. The Bearcats to inbound the basketball. To Shayla Jackson inbounding it. To Micaiah Jackson. And it's tipped out of bounds. I think we're having a conference as far as to who tipped that out of bounds. They're going with the Bearcats tipped it out of bounds. I like to see that come when back the, the other, uh, way. Yeah. other referee uh, sees that uh, there's been a egregious call, gets together and corrects it. And that was the no one. <laughs> to the coach. I think, uh, I don't think Bolin was aware that she was going to be getting the ball back. Turnover going the other way. The Wildcats or Bearcats bringing the basketball up. Moving the basketball around, very patient. Nice block right there by Bearclaw. Come on, that's a late whistle. 
They were calling a foul on that. On a very late whistle. <laughs> yeah, I heard that commentary from down there in the stands. <laughs> you did too. Actually, I, th I thought it was a I thought it was a good block, but it may have been caught with the body. So many times you see that the, the block looks good, but there's a there's a bump on the body there, body against body, and that's that's where they call the foul at. Great. And both free throws for Smith went off the iron, and uh, no points were put up on the scoreboard. It's still nine to nine with 3:18 remaining in the second quarter of play. Santos up with the shot. No Both ball. teams come down with the basketball. It's going to be Titans basketball on a jump ball call. Sorry, inbounds the basketball, and it's stolen away. Smith came up with the basketball, kicks it out for it front, and the Titans come back out with it. Very aggressive with their offense that time, the Titans. They forced up a shot there, turned it back over the other way after a missed shot. And once again, another foul. Makaya Jackson uh, put up a shot, which didn't go, but she's going to have an opportunity at a couple free throws. Makaya Jackson. And it used all the backboard and all the rim, but it went down. It sure did. <laughs> Ten to nine in favor of Bedford right now. 239 remaining in the second quarter of play. Not exactly sure what that was about. We had six people on the court. I'm not sure either. Well, the second free throw is unsuccessful. And tipped out of bounds, and it's going to be Bedford's basketball. Long inbounds pass. Back out to the timeline, and it's turned over. Going the other way, Smith puts it up and was fouled on the way to the basket. She's going to have an opportunity to a couple of free throws. That is Smith at the free throw line. We're right. Naya puts the first one up and in. We are tied at 10. Second one up and in. <laughs> and another turnover after some full court pressure by the Titans. Titans end up with the basketball. A short shot put up there by Thomas, but the Titans get the offensive rebound. Back up and in by Rivera. Serena. Serena Rivera. Timeout, Bedford. We've got a timeout on the floor, so we're going to take a very quick break, and we'll be back with more. And uh, got two minutes, and they took it off the clock. But two minutes, 33. Just, just a little more than two minutes. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Michael Peterson. I'm sitting here in the beautiful Sound Kitchen Recording Studios in Franklin, Tennessee. Did you know that for over 90 years, the American Legion Auxiliary has provided comfort, care, and scholarships for our military veterans and their families? There continues to be a great need for scholarships for the children of our military veterans, as well as outreach for our wartime veterans and their families. 
please join me in making a generous donation to the American Legion Auxiliary Foundation. Back out here at Lorraine High as Bedford brings the basketball up. Got a little bit of a collision down there on the floor. Two minutes and two seconds remaining in this second quarter of play. Lorraine High up 13 to 10. Rivera dribbling the basketball, kick it down in the right corner. It's Nia Smith puts it up. Dribbled around a little bit. And now it's in possession of the Bearcats, but they can't seem to get it across the timeline. Can't get it out of the paint under their own basket. And we need a basketball. Foul to rain. That's going to be their seventh. So the Bearcats will be shooting one and one. All right. Shayla Jackson puts the first one up and in. Thirteen to eleven, Titans, and thirteen to twelve as Jackson puts the second one in. There we go. We haven't had a lot of points, but uh, pretty decent uh, free throw uh, shooting today. Yeah, they've they've been very, very impressive with, with the free throw shooting for the most part. There we go. And Wake them up. There you go. That was a nice shot by Thomas. Thomas with that last basket makes the score 15 to 12 in favor of the Lady Titans. Bedford with the basketball and I think we're gonna have another foul here. We're going to have another foul and put the Titans or put the Bearcats on the free throw line once again. Number eight for the Lady Titans. I think that was on number 11, Williams. For the, was it on eight? Or no, number, I fouled oh, was on eight, number 11. Number 11, yes. Yeah, it was uh, foul number eight for Lorraine. Oh, foul, foul number eight, Joe. <laughs> <Yes. Joe. laughs> Sorry about that. Well, they hit, knock it down, them free throws. Shayla Jackson knocks down a pair of free throws. And now they bring the ball back the other way, the Bearcats do, and there's a scrum, scrum. on the floor. <laughs> Holly takes it to the basket. Doesn't get the basket, but she's going to get some free throw attempts herself. He's made a pair of free throws earlier in the ball game in the first quarter play. Foul on double zero. It's going to be Santos for the Titans. That's who the foul was called on. Holly misses the first free, or first of the one and one. Coming back the other way, and that time nice. Williams puts the basket in. 17 to 14 in favor of the Titans. 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Bedford moving the basketball around. Holly takes it towards the basket, but they're going to call an offensive foul. The Titans are going to take the basketball the other way. Now with 25 seconds to go, We'll see if the Titans exhibit some of that patience that they showed earlier in the basketball game and uh, take the last shot in this first half. Naya Smith bringing the basketball up across the timeline. 2-3 zone for Bedford.
Titans moving it around, trying to get that open shot. And they're going to call traveling. Once upon a time, they called it ups and downs. Right. Bedford inbounds basketball, six seconds to go. They may not get it across the timeline. Well, oh. the pressure from the Titans defense was just a little too close. Right. With only 2.9 remaining on that clock here in the second quarter. Yeah, I was about to say some effective heat by Lorraine, but unfortunately got a little too close. And uh, Bedford draws the foul with only 2.9 seconds left. Kaya Jackson shooting the free throw. Up and in. Rainbow. Pulls the Bearcats to within two at 17 to 15. Second one up, off the iron. Titans get the rebound, but the clock is going to expire here in the second quarter of play. And the score at halftime, it's the Titans 17 and the Bedford Bearcats 15. We're going to take a break for halftime. We'll be back with the second half of play in just a couple of minutes. Hi, my name is George Click. I'm 16 years old and in 10th grade at Lorraine High School. I'm studying video production through Lorraine High's Career Tech Education Program. My first class was video production itself, and my second class was web design. I have a big imagination. Video production is a great release for it. The program is fun, interactive, and hands-on. You learn about the cameras and their functions in a comfortable environment. You spend a lot of time editing video using Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. My video production instructor, Mr. Trout, helped me a lot. He helps you with anything you need help with. He's good at explaining how things work. Taking this video production class is what really made me want to go into this field. This program at Lorraine High helped give me confidence. I now know that this is what I want to do, and it's all thanks to Lorraine High's video production career tech program. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom! I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Back out here at Lorraine High for the second half of the girls' JV basketball game. The Titans and the Bedford Bearcats. It's 17 to 15 in favor of the Titans as we get things underway in quarter number three. My name is Gary Pelter. I'm here with Joe Bach, the legend. <laughs> he's, he's talking in video. Well, I figured I'd give you today. something to talk to today. It's always nice not make me feel so lonely up here. Titans put up a uh, shot by Ferry. She, after a little bit of a tussle there, the bid for Bearcats come out with the basketball coming back the other way. Double team out front, and it works as the ball is turned over. Coming back the other way, and oh, nice. a nice runner right there put up by Thomas. Thomas with four points in the ball game so far. 19 to 15 in favor of the Titans. And the ball coming back the other way once again, and turned over as a very active defense. And there we got a little, a little traveling. There was no hiding that one. <laughs> I could even catch that one. Sheila Jackson dribbled it down there on that right, right wing, and uh, she wanted to pass the ball, but the, the recipient of the pass was covered, so she ended up just walking with the basketball. And now we have a second walk here, this time on the Titans. Bedford inbound the basketball. 
Kaya Jackson dribbling over to DeShayla Jackson. DeShayla takes it down towards the baseline and it's tipped out of bounds. Bedford will retain possession of the basketball. Smith to inbounds. Inbounds tipped and stolen away by the Titans. Aria on the left wing out here. Coming back up to reset the offense. Trying to get the ball down low to Santos and was tipped away and turned over. Santos now gets the ball after the turnover, puts up a shot. And after a little bit of a scrimmage on the sidelines, going to yeah, be knocked out of bounds and give it, giving it to Bedford. Bedford going the other way. Once again, folks, 19 to 15 in favor of the Titans. 5:02 remaining in the third quarter of play. Tried to throw that pass down low, intercepted by Thomas for the Titans. I think we had a substitution there, but I didn't hear a buzzer. But it's the, the first game of the day. Everybody's kind of getting their sea legs, I think. Right. <laughs> Pass yep. over in the left wing. Thomas from the baseline off the iron. Bedford going the other way with the basketball. Once again, the Titans defense very active, comes up with another turnover. Down to Barraclo, Barraclo down on that baseline to Thomas. Thomas puts up the shot off the iron and it's gonna be Holly coming back the other way for the Bearcats. Bearcats shot goes up from way outside. Nobody under the iron for the Bearcats. Titans coming back. Faria takes it down herself. Drive down that left side. Going to get fouled and go to the free throw line. Yeah, as you said, this is the first of two games. Uh, we were going to cover all three games originally, but uh, early in the season found out um, Bedford did not have a freshman team. So this is the first of uh, only two this afternoon. So you'll want to pay attention to that schedule to watch the Varsity girls basketball game. Right, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, you have to reload. I do believe uh, on Spectrum, this will, uh, the varsity will immediately follow this game. Rhea with both free throws. 21 to 15 in favor of the Titans. Rhea with, uh, She's five of five from the free throw line today. Yeah, speaking of our YouTube channel, uh, closing in on 900,000 views. So if you haven't had a chance to it, uh, jump on YouTube and uh, just search uh, Lorraine TV 20 and uh, we have a plethora of games. And a nice shot there by Rivera. Twenty-three to fifteen in favor of the Titans. 322 remaining in the third quarter of play. Turnover once again, going back. Titans going the other way. And up and off the backboard, Robinson with their first basket of the afternoon. We're gonna take a yeah, they, Lady they Titans. To get a timeout here. Yeah, Lady Titans, 8 0, uh, 8 0 run here in the third quarter. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a break. We're going to take a quick break, folks, and we'll be right back after this.
Back out here at Lorraine High. JV girls basketball action. It's the Lady Titans on top of the Bedford Bearcats, 25 to 15 in the third quarter play. 3.03 remaining in the third quarter. And the Bedford Bearcats are, I was gonna say, I thought the Bearcats got their first basket of the third quarter play, but no, they did not. It's gonna go back Titans on the other side. Faria putting up a shot from that right wing. Faria with a three. 28 to 15. The Titans push the lead out a little bit more. 13 point lead with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. DeShayla Jackson put up the shot. Didn't get it to go, but. DeShayla Jackson. The JB Lady Titans 11-0 in this third quarter so far. That's right, the Bearcats trying to get their first points of the third quarter here at the free throw line. Now DeShayla Jackson has been four of four from the charity stripe so far. And she makes it five of five for the first points for the Bearcats. She misses the second. 28 to 16 in favor of the Titans. Nice dribble and drive by Rivera, but didn't get it to go down. Going the other way, Micaiah Jackson puts up a basket for the first field goal for the Bearcats. 28 to 18. Titans get a couple shots at the basket, but neither one of them go to go down. A defensive rebound by the Bearcats going back the other way. Jackson puts up the shot. I don't know if it ever left her hands. Did no. it, Joe? Nope. She got completely stuffed, unfortunately. Caught a part of the hand there. Kaya Jackson trying to put the second free throw up and puts the second one up and in. 28 to 19. The Bearcats have cut it back down to single digits. Titans, long shot right there by Rivera. And tipped out of bounds off the Titans and it's going to be Bearcats basketball. 136 remaining here in the third quarter of play. Bearcats bringing it across the timeline. Holly out in the outside the three-point arc on the left wing puts it up. It was an air ball. But the Titans turn it over, and ooh, she dances around the timeline right <laughs> she there. She sure I, did. <laughs> Long outlet pass to Rivera. Rivera takes the ball out on the right wing. Non-stop action here in the third quarter. Maria puts it up. Off the iron, rebound Titans. And we got somebody camped out down there in the lane for the Titans. I think it was Price. But nonetheless, it's going to go the other way. 28 to 19, less than a minute, 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter of play. 28 to 19 in favor of the Titans. Ball turned over. The Titans are going to have the basketball with 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter.
Correa bringing the ball up. Rivera has it tipped and loses it. Goes out of bounds as she stepped on the end line, trying to retrieve it. Now we're down to 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. Halston to inbound it. To Shayla Jackson. Or to Micaiah Jackson. To DeShayla. Puts it up off the iron. No good. Kicked around down there. 18 seconds to go. Plenty of time for the Titans to set something up offensively. Ball turned over. I mean, Micaiah Jackson down there by herself. Traveling. No? Oh. I'm going to call it jump ball. And it's going to remain Bedford's basketball. 3.2 seconds. Smith to inbounds the basketball. Tipped away. And tipped right back to Smith after she steps in bounds, but the shot is up and no good. At the end of three, it's Lorraine, 28, and Bedford, 19. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit with the perseverance to prevail. Not for glory, but for honor. For a code that isn't written, or spoken, but lived. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. I was the first woman ever to deploy on a Strategic Air Command deployment. You didn't just serve your country. I lobbied for women to be on board submarines. You paved the way for others. I joined the Army because I wanted a challenge. And the challenges you face now? Your VA delivers a variety of benefits. Learn more, including how to apply online using eBenefits. No matter what time it is, you've earned them. Apply today. Back out here at uh, Lorraine High, starting the fourth quarter. Lorraine up 28 to 19 over the Bedford Bearcats in JV basketball action. Shot is up and off the iron by Robinson. Coming back the other way. Wow, nice. And okay, Jackson puts up a shot for two points. Twenty-eight to twenty-one. The Titans in control, but the lead is being cut down a little bit by Bedford. They scored the first basket of the fourth quarter relatively quickly. It took them a while to get their first uh, field goal in that third quarter. And Holly comes up with the turnover. Once again, McKay Jackson out here with the basketball. She has 10 of the, McKay Jackson does 10 of the 21 points for the Bedford Bearcats this afternoon. Shot is up and short by Santos. Back out to Williams. Williams puts up a shot and rolls around and in. Thirty to twenty-one, lead back up to nine for the Lady Titans. Yeah, they needed that one. Shot up and out of the rim. Battling for the basketball, the Titans come out with it. As Williams brings it across the timeline, down low, nice pass from Thomas to Robinson for two. Nicely done. Lead back out to 11 at 32 to 21. Four minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter of play. A turnover, the Titans come back the other way. 
Bearclove with the basketball to Williams. Back to Bearclove between the circles. Back over to Williams on the left side. And Santos <laughs> was going to try to make a move there. And kind of got tied up. And <laughs> yeah, nope. no foul. Just turned it over. Ended up shuffling the feet there. And we've got, what do we got? Is that a jump ball that they call a foul? No, it was a foul on that. Okay. It's a little quiet in the gymnasium today. The officials could probably just yell it out and everybody could hear. Right. And another foul on the Titans. Number four. Lady Bearcats have one. Smith to inbound the basketball. Smith throws it out top. And it's tipped around and eventually recovered by the Titans. Shot is up and off the iron by Thomas. Tipped around, tipped around, and the Bearcats come out with a basketball. And promptly turn it back over. Bearclaw with the steal. Shot from the left baseline by Thomas. Santos puts it up and over the rim. Tipped and out of bounds off the hands of the Titans and going the other way. And we're going to have a timeout called out here on the floor. It's a 30 second timeout, so we're gonna keep it right here, Joe. Titans right now with an 11 point lead at 32 to 21. A lot of up and down action, so uh, the clock's been running. Time's kind of running out for the Lady Bearcats. I think this was a this was a timeout situation where if they're going to make a move, if they're going to have a chance, they've got to do something and do it very quickly. I agree. Yeah, they had it. They had the lead down to seven, or, or trailing by seven, and uh, Lorraine has since pushed it back out to eleven. Yeah, they, you're, you're absolutely correct. They cut it down to it was twenty-eight to twenty-one a couple of baskets ago. Uh, then the Titans got two baskets and pushed it back out to 11 and where it sits right now at 32 to 21 and there's three minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter play so like I said I think if Bedford thinks they're going to make a move they've got to do it and they've got to do it now right I mean you're down by 11 and you've only scored 21 through three and a half quarters that uh, you know they need to show a sense of urgency I think that may be an understatement, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and three-point shot is up by DeShayla Jackson. That didn't go down. That would have been that would have been huge for the Bearcats, but the Titans take it back the other way in a nice breakaway basket by Harrison. That's a big bucket. And now 34 to 21. 13-point lead for the Titans. 2.58 remaining in the fourth quarter play in the ball game. And the Titans defense, very nice there. Ties up the Bearcats. Five-second call, yeah. Forces the turnover. Titans inbound the ball. Mario. Moving the basketball around. The Titans being, I was just gonna say they were very patient, but, and they're going to get the basket right there. It was by Bericle. She put up a shot. Was that a two or a three? I I wasn't quite sure. Well, we'll see on the replay here. <laughs> well, she missed the free throw. And the Titans end up with the basketball, though. Up, 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 up. 
And the Titans, once again, their defense swarming over on that right side. And they're doing a nice job of using the sideline as another defender. 36 to 21, the Titans up by 15 with 2.08 remaining. Bearcats dribble the basketball in, trying to get up a shot. Holly with a long shot. Goes to the left off the backboard, but the Bearcats get the offensive rebound and turn it over. I wasn't sure exactly what happened over there on the far sideline. I think she dribbled it on the baseline or on yep. the sideline. I believe so. Yeah, this, was, this was a close contest for the first two quarters. Uh, tied after one. Uh, uh, Lady Titans, I believe, with a two-point lead at the half, and um, yeah, it was they, 17 to 15 at halftime. Yeah, and they've really blown it open in here in the second half with some really tough defense. Yeah, they held the Bearcats to only four points in that third quarter of play, while the Titans scored had their best quarter at 11. Nice sportsmanship there. And the Bearcats are going to have the basketball side on the line. side. And the clock is down to 124, 36 to 21 in favor of the Titans. Holly kicks the ball down low. In there to Smith. Smith put up a shot. Got fouled on her way to the basket. She'll have a couple of free throws. And at the end of this contest, we'll take a short break, and then uh, Gary will be back to wrap things up. And uh, soon after that, we'll be uh, heading into the varsity uh, game. If you're watching on Spectrum Cable, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, you'll have to... Go back to the playlist and reload the varsity game. Smith with the second free throw. That was also unsuccessful. 0 for 4 from the charity stripe for Smith this afternoon. Titans bringing the basketball down and uh, stolen away. Holly bringing the ball across that timeline. She's going to take it to the basket herself. Got it blocked, but ended up with her own rebound. And a nice shot right there by Sheila Jackson. 36 to 23 with 49 seconds remaining. And there's a timeout. And I don't know. It's a 30. It's a 30. I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna come up with any 13 point plays here. No. <laughs> That's, uh, let me see, do quick math. That's a five possession. Uh, yeah, but it is it. But it is a good, it is a learning experience. Oh, absolutely. And, yep. and uh, you know, so many times I'll uh, be doing games and we'll see a couple timeouts called in the end when it's seemingly a, a, a blowout game. But there's situations where coaches can use it to set up plays and do things that uh, maybe get different players into the ball game, but things that they can use sure. at a later date. Exactly, yeah. A lot of this stuff, yeah. This is real game play, and you can't, uh, can't really uh, imitate it in practice, so yeah, set things up. Who Did we call that, uh, Gary? Did, did you catch? I was not 100% certain. I just looked up, and there was a timeout. And uh, shot. Very short by the Titans. Uh, we got a scrum on the floor and a jump ball situation, and that is going to go to Bedford. 38.5 remaining in the ball game. 36 to 23 in favor of the Titans. Holly comes down to inbound the basketball. The Sheila Jackson. Brings it across the timeline to Micaiah Jackson. And a nice shot put up in, in by Smith. Her first two of the afternoon. 
And it's 36 to 25 with 15 seconds and counting. The Lady Titans be content to dribble this out. Or not. <laughs> and we're going to have something called. <laughs> Titans are going to play. inbound the basketball <laughs> at least one more time with 7.6 remaining. Inbounds the ball, goes up, and what do we got? Another foul. That's the fourth on Bedford. And it's going to be on the floor. Yep. So the Titans are going to inbound the basketball again with six seconds left this time. And the ball's tipped around. 2.4. And this will be the third time they inbounded under seven seconds to go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Going to run that clock down. And the final score, the JV Lady Titans will move their record to 10 and 3. And uh, the final score, and they took it off the board already, 36 Joe. 36 to 25. 36 to 25. I, I hate when they do that because I always uh, snap a picture for social media. Yeah, I've got my <laughs> – uh, luckily, I've got it on my running score sheet uh, over here. But all right. once again, 36 to 25. We'll be right back to wrap it up after this. Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you. All right, back out here at Lorraine High, we're going to do a, a quick wrap-up here of the girls' JV basketball game. It was a... Very nice victory for the Lady Titans as they up their record to 10 and 3, and the Bedford Bearcats fall to 2 and 9 on the afternoon. Once again, the final was 36 to 25. Looking quickly at the scoring unofficially in the afternoon for Lorraine, it was uh, Paria with 8. We had Williams with 6, Thomas with 4. Pericle with six, Robinson with six, Rivera with four, and Harrison with two. Nice balanced scoring by the Titans. They, they spread it around throughout the ball game. Looking at the scoring for the Bedford Bearcats, it was DeShayla Jackson with 11 points, Makai Jackson with 10 points, Boone, or excuse me, Smith with two, and Holly with a pair on the afternoon for the Lady Bearcats for their 25. Once again, a very nice ball game by the Lady Titans. It was very close throughout the first uh, first half. It was at halftime 17 to 15 in favor of the Lady Titans. And then in the third quarter play, they pushed it out by outscoring the Bearcats 11 to four. And at the end of three, it was 28 to 19. And they just pretty much maintained that throughout the fourth quarter of play. The Titans outscoring the Bearcats in that fourth quarter, eight to six for once again, that final of 36 to 25. For Joe Bach, I'm Gary Pelter. Thank you very much, and uh, if you're on Spectrum, stay tuned for the Varsity Girls Basketball game, and uh, if you're not, if you're looking at the YouTube channel, reload and check out the Girls Basketball game. Thank you very much, and have a good afternoon, everybody. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV20 WLCS.